In today's video, I'm going to install a fan in my Tech 2235 oscilloscope since I always notice while using it that the case would get somewhat hot and what you know heat is always bad for any kind of electronics component that's a big enemy of uh, electronic components is heat so I decided to install a fan and I noticed the Tech 2236 I believe is the model number that's almost the same as the Tech 2235 uh, except I think that has a counter and a meter in it. Um, by comparing the power supplies, I think they're about the same. So, what I'm going to do is install in three components here. Um, a diode, a electrolytic capacitor, and a um, resistor. Also, the fourth, I forgot to mention, there is one other component. Of course, this is a little... Uh, fan I bought um, the electrolytic capacitor I ended up buying one it's uh, 63 volts 330 microfarads a little bit larger and it is a high temperature um, capacitor to zero 105 degrees centigrade so that should do the job for that and I got a half watt um, 20 ohm resistor and I took one diode I had laying around this is a 1N I think it's a 1N 4007 also there's two screws I had laying around two little screws with the um, nuts though I had that laying around too I don't exactly know what size they are but they do fit in the hole I, I'm guessing maybe the width is three or four millimeters I'm not sure I don't have them uh, a micrometer but I pushed it um, pushed them through the holes in the fan and it goes right through and it seems to hold now the fan here is um, says here 12 volts DC um, 0.1 amperes so that means 1.2 watts and it was uh, well a cheap put you this way is a pretty cheap fan so that's what's going to be installed and of course here the schematic of the power supply I was able to download that off of the internet Anything else I can add? Um, we see here I've already tried to figure out on the uh, circuit board in the power supply section where these components would actually go. I think like mine are missing these, but there should be some solder holes there. So I should be able to figure this uh, out. So looking at my circuit board, I was able to figure out that it was not exactly the same as the physical layout positions would lead me to believe. Also, there's no markings here. Um, like, for example, here, CR965. On my particular model, there is there are no uh, markings, no silk screen markings there where you can just say, okay, there's CR965, just go ahead and drop the diode in there. But um, if we look over here, I was able to see on the secondary here, this transformer, I was able to see it's pin the actual fan circuit it goes to pin number 20. I also noticed that, for example, um, if I take this part of the 2236 printout, there is, where is this at? Right here. And that's pin 20. That is the um, third pin down from the top. And if I take a look at my circuit board, and here I can see this is pin 15, and it's 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Right here. And it's actually the third pin. Um down from the top and all I have to do is follow this this way 
and come up to here and I would say the diode uh, there's just unmarked solder pads and I think the diode has to go across here and across there for, for starters so again the diode goes across these two lower solder pads but these and these two pads are electric, electrically connected so that means the resistor has to go across here and then the electrolytic capacitor is attached to ground but it's also electrically attached to the resistor so that means this one here when I'm pointing out on the left that's got to be ground and these two pads here they got to be for the fan itself so I'm going to check here if this is actually ground I'll just hook up a meter and go from ground here to the chassis so I have the three parts in place here's the electrolytic capacitor and here's the resistor and there's the diode I'm getting ready to solder them in now and right here those two solder pads here that is where the fan the two wires from the fan is attached to so let me get these soldered in and I'll take a look at the fan so I have the fan in place now that took two little screws with bolts and I've got the fan set up so it blows the air to the outside and I've got a I put a little chai wrap in the corner there but I'm not sure if that's gonna work out I don't know if I can get the cover on uh, with that but I'll find out here we can see the parts I installed the um, cathode is pointing toward the front of the unit that's corrected connected to the transformer the cathode is here's the resistor here's two pins I found um, and then the connector from the fan which is which I'm pulling on right there that's going to go over that I'm only going to use um, two of the connections here the red and the black and the red goes to where that little arrow is pointing here to the right there on the right side that's where that goes and the black wire goes right there where I'm touching now and of course you can see the capacitor that I'm pointing at the electrolytic capacitor so um, all I have to do now is fire the unit up start it up and that's just gonna look like this for now it's uh, actually pretty pretty sturdy it's not going to go anywhere um, so let me go ahead and um, slowly bring up the voltage so I'm ready to start the unit up and um, everything basically now is temporarily I don't know if I'm going to change anything like reroute the wire or something or can I leave this tie wrap on in the back I don't know that yet so I'm going to go ahead and turn the voltage up on my variable isolation transformer and see if it even works and also see how loud it is and if it's actually pushing out any air this is only I think a 1.2 uh, watt fan one thing I hate is loud fans so um, here basically we go Okay, it came up and drawn normal current not very much so seems to be okay I'm going to put my hand in the back of the unit yeah I can feel I can feel air coming out so I think that's going to be good enough now hopefully it's going to be even quieter with the case on or not going to vibrate or something like that um, I guess I'll go ahead and I'll find out when I put the case on I'm just going to go ahead and let this run um, a little bit for now and also this brings this video to its conclusion